What up, what up, what up? It's your man, Philly Nate. This week, in the week in the lift zone, we're going to talk about the new improvements that's been happening with Uber, man. Stay tuned. <laughs> What up? It's your man Philly Nate. And again, this week in a week in the lift zone, we're gonna talk about the awesome improvements that's been happening with Uber. Now, again, if you've been hiding or living underneath a rock, then you haven't heard that in June, the uh, then CEO Travis he resigned. Okay, he stepped down, and now Uber has a new CEO. Um, he's an Iranian American. His name is Dara. I don't, I'm not going to pronounce his last name, but his name is um, Dara. Okay. So they've been making some crazy implementations over there at Uber, man. And I de definitely want to give them a, a, a kudos. So let's go over as far as what's been happening um, with Uber. So first, what we have, we've been, we've been talking about it. We've been raving about it is the tips. Okay. So now in the Uber app, you got tips before and what I've heard through the great mind of word on the street was that the guy Travis, the former CEO, he didn't want him, okay? Because he felt like it would mess up the quote unquote experience. Meanwhile, we got all these drivers out here suffering because people really can't give them tips because they don't have any money. Because like me, they walk around with no money because most people accept credit cards. It's safer, it's easier, all of the above. So um, kudos to Uber as far as making tips available for the Uber drivers, just like the Lyft drivers. Of course, most people drive both, but anyway, got my little sheet here too. Um, next is Uber allows you to edit, okay? Uber allows you to edit the rides that you wanna take. So for example, if you wanna take the Uber regular rides and the Uber pull, but you don't wanna take the Uber Eats, like me, I don't do Uber Eats, okay? so. The app allows you to edit the app to where it's only going to give you certain rides. It's, maybe it's not going to give you Uber Eats rides. That's awesome because prior you would have to accept the Uber Eats rides or, or just kind of not answer them. Okay. Next is Uber shows you the direction of the passenger. So for example, if you get pinked and you're going north and you get pinked, now it shows you that that person is 10 minutes behind you or, or that person is 10 minutes in front of you or that person is 10 minutes to the right of you or the 10 minutes to the left, it shows you. So now that gives you the opportunity to say, okay, I wanna accept this ride or no, I, I really don't wanna accept this ride, okay? So it gives you that option, which is gives the driver more control, which I think is always a good thing. Um, next is, there's a no thank you option when you're getting pinged. So somebody pings you beforehand, what would happen is that you would just have to uh, let the ping kind of run its course, okay? But now, and, I used to, and that's annoying if maybe you have a passenger in the car with you and there's an, another ride that comes up and maybe you, you don't want to take the ride. So it just goes bing, 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 okay? Now, what you can do is there's a no thank you option on there, so you can just hit no thank you and it stops, okay? I think that's awesome. As for some people that's impatient, I'm impatient, so when that thing comes on and I don't want it to actually do the the ride, and, and instead of letting it go, now I can just hit no thank you and then that's it, man. Kudos to Uber for doing that also. Um, next, now, I haven't had the pleasure of having this happen to me, but for those of you who had rides where it's 45 minutes or more, when it's 45 minutes or more, now Uber tells you, I look, I wanna get one of these, okay? I wanna get one of these, but I haven't got one yet. But, and I've seen this on a commercial, so this is how I know about it, I've seen it on a commercial. I'm, I'm sure that you guys have seen it also. But it gives you the option to say, this ride is over 45 minutes, do you wanna take it? Because maybe you're, maybe, going to pick up your uh, children and you're like five or you're in the vicinity so now if you go to do a ride 
and it's 45 minutes from where you're at and they don't give you the option, now it's kind of an uncomfortable situation because now you see where the person's going, they're going to another state, but you gotta get your kid in five minutes. So it's kind of like, eh, you gotta get somebody else. It's a bad, it's, it's, it's a lose-lose for everybody. What they've done is a win-win. Now I can say, okay, I don't wanna do it or I can't. I do wanna do it, so that's fine. Um, action alert, action alert, action alert. I wanna put everybody up on this because I didn't get scammed necessarily, but what the guys told me wasn't the wasn't the whole truth. What are you talking about, Philly Nate? I'm in Philly, driving around like I do, and two guys pull up on me. Okay, two guys pull up on me because my bumper has a lot of scratches on it because I do a lot of parallel parking okay and feel like we don't have a lot of driveways we a lot of us park on the street so that means every time you park on the street somebody's trying to wiggle in and they hitting you you hitting them and your bumper is off the chain okay so I got a lot of dick um, dents and, and uh, dinks on my bumper and some on my um somebody side swipe me but just rub the paint off okay not to where they dented anything but just rub the paint off so some guys rolled up on me, they got, look, we'll take care of that for you for a hundred. Now, I went to get my bumper looked at one time, and they said 300, okay? So they they said a hundred, nice paint job, it will blend in with everything, it's gonna be awesome. A hundred dollars, you know, I'm thinking about the hundred dollars, like look, hook a brother up, okay, a hundred dollars. So what they basically did because I got a guy that washes my my car um, and what they told me is that okay this is gonna settle it's gonna settle for two days after those two days just hand wax it once you hand wax it it's gonna be fine I said oh okay so um, again I'm thinking of a hundred dollars I'm thinking it's a come up so I go to get my my uh, my car wash guy, and he like, nah, man. What they basically did is they basically put kind of like, I guess it's flat paint, not paint that. Um, and this is for all you you novice who are like me that really don't know the difference. They kind of just put not the paint that you put on the house, okay? But they kind of the paint isn't like the other paint. It's not like the other paint. What the guy, what what my um car wash guy told me is like they just put flat paint on it so it's a paint if you ever see a car and it looks like a two-tone car okay that other paint that they put on it like the bumper is two-tone that's the reason why because they just kind of put like regular paint on it because the uh, paint of your car is like a special paint okay um, so they did that but I mean at the end of the day my car looks better okay even though it looks a little two-tone and you really got to be looking because it's it's uniform it's all black okay it's not like it's a total different color but i didn't know that and if i had knew that probably going into it then i probably would have did something different so some uh moral of the story somebody pulls up on you talking about they can do a job sell you something or blah 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 uh, some of the times it's okay but you guys just got to be very cautious about it um kind of know what you're getting into and know that you have the uh, op- you, you have the potential to be scammed was I scammed I probably would say no um, because again my um, bumper looks a lot better than what it did and I'm about to go get the bumper bully once I get the bumper bully and slap that on it then I should be good to go so I'm, I'm gonna call my buddy up who does um, car painting and kind of look more into the situation um, and then that's it, man. So look, if somebody, you know somebody that uh, can benefit from this, man, please comment, man. Put your comments in the comments uh, box. Uh, share this, like this. And if you do have any questions, let me know. Um, Ride share, man. Again, I still think is one of the best uh, side hustles out there. You get to work when you want to, turn it on when you want to, turn it off when you don't want to. Um, and I've been doing this for like three years. And it's like when I, um, when I need money, because I, I have a regular job, but when I need money, I turn this on, make some extra money, and I'm able to do some extra things, man. It's your man, Philly Nate. Again, any questions, holler at me. We almost had 10 minutes. I'm out.